Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. I just want to do a quick update video about my Tesla position. I recently sold some shares off and I wanted to let you know why I did it, when I did it, and how much I sold them for. In my last video, I said I was going to sell some shares off if it made it to the 50 day simple moving average or the blue line on the chart. Now, if you're not very familiar with technical analysis, the 50 day simple moving average a lot of times can be a strong area of support if the stock is coming down to it, and a strong area of resistance if the stock is moving up into it. If you look back just a couple of weeks ago on the Tesla chart, you see it came down to the 50 day simple moving average, found strong support and immediately reversed from a low of about 611 to a high of about 808 in just a couple of days. Now I'm not a short term trader, but if you are, you could take advantage of these reversal days off of major moving averages because often you get some follow through. But you have to be nimble because the trend that brought it into that moving average can turn it back around fast. By the way, I consider the major moving averages to be the 50 day simple moving average and the 200 day simple moving averages, which are represented by the blue and the yellow lines on this chart. And I usually don't even consider trading around one of these averages unless there has been an extended move, just like we've seen in Tesla going into the average. In my experience, if the move into the moving average is not very extended and the less reliable that signal is. Okay, so let's get right into what I did. On April 13th, Tesla hit the 50 day simple moving average, but I resisted the urge to sell because it was having such a strong day and I wanted to see how it ended the day. If it had reversed immediately off that 50 day moving average, I probably would have sold a little, but since it finished near the high of the day, that was indicating there was still strong demand for it and you should get follow through the next day and that's exactly what happened. I sold some early the next day at $733.48. Now I decided to sell a little less than I originally planned because Tesla was still very strong and if you've been following Tesla for a while, when it gets moving, it can really go on a run. A couple days later on April 17th, I planned on selling a little more because the futures and Tesla were up pre-market because of favorable news out of Gilead Sciences. Now before the market opened, I put in a limit order to sell some at $799, but the rally faded quickly and it never made it that high. That order was canceled, so I have no current orders and I'm kind of in wait and see mode right now. When I put in orders for Tesla, I tend to put them a little high because Tesla is very volatile and if somebody's going to end up taking my shares from me, then they're going to have to pay up. As of right now, Tesla sold off early in the day all the way down to the low 700s, but has reversed and is back near the high of the day. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit if Tesla was up over 800 the next couple days and I might sell some at those levels. Right here I have a current chart of the NASDAQ composite. And as you can see, this move off the bottom is still going strong. It's still my opinion that we're going to get a retest of the lows, but with each passing day, the higher the market goes, the less likely that becomes. I think there's still going to be a flurry of bad news in the coming months, so I'm using this rally to raise a little cash. Although I must admit, I'm not raising as much as I thought I would. If you'd have told me at the bottoms, we'd have bounced this high. But I honestly don't even really like to sell stocks. I like to buy great companies that have bright futures and hold them as long as possible. Now for me personally, the best trades I've ever had is when I bought a company for the long term, but for whatever reason it goes on a big run in the short term, and it feels like somebody's twisted my arm off if I don't sell. I never sell the whole position in case I'm wrong, but more often than not I'm able to repurchase the shares at a lower price. It's not always a big gain like I've had in Tesla, but for me very little feels better than getting to buy back the shares at a lower price and either keep the extra in cash to use later or add some extra shares for free. Now these opportunities are very few and far between, but I'm thinking this will be another one in Tesla. Well, I think I'll stop the video right there, but I'll definitely uh, make another video if I decide to sell some more into the market, and I'll definitely make another one if and when I get to buy the shares back. And I hope everything works out the way I'm thinking, because I'll be honest, I get a little sad when I sell off some Tesla stock. I'd rather have too much Tesla than not enough when the market gets out to a new high because I'm thinking it should definitely be one of the market leaders in the next bull run. Now if you could hit the like button and subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. And I just wanted to say that this isn't trading advice, this is just my opinion on Tesla for your fun and entertainment. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.